Hey guys, uh, this is Rahul from Way to Automation. So I'm going to share a really interesting experience happened with me today morning. As soon as I woke up, I found that my inbox, my Skype, WhatsApp were bombarded with a lot of mess messages from a student mentioning that they are, they are unable to access their courses and the videos are not playing for them. The message uh, shows that the content is removed or uh, you should get in touch with the instructor. So a lot of messages were there in and, and the WhatsApp group and uh, the Skype. So with people across the globe who are accessing the portal are not uh, actually able to view these videos. And I was uh, really shocked as there are over 30 plus courses with uh, 300 uh, 3000 plus hours of content and over 200,000 students accessing the portal from across the globe are impacted uh, with this outage. And it's Saturday morning here in India, uh, which means the dev team who is in US, it's Friday late night for them. And they're not going to be available until Monday to fix this issue. So this message, uh, which I got uh, in the admin panel, let me show it to you. So it says that uh, like the videos, they have deactivated it uh, due to some issue. And if I want to reactivate it, I need to go to each video uh, under uh, the course curriculum and I need to re-encode it to, to restore the video. So it is something like if I uh, go to my video portal over here, so it's like uh, if I talk about this particular video or this particular video, what I need to do, I need to click here and then you can see because this video wasn't being viewed, we deactivated it. So this is something like an issue because this is one of the latest course and it's uh, a lot of people on a daily basis is actually viewing it. So what I need to do, I just need to click on uh, a re-encode video, which brings the video back over here. And I was like, it's, it's not just for one video. I have to navigate to 3000 plus lectures. If you look over here, like around 3115 lectures, I need to manually visit and manually re-encode each video. This is crazy. Um, I mean, I have to invest my whole week to fix it manually or I have to ask my team to sit for the entire week to fix each and every uh, uh, video manually, which is like crazy, right? And on the other end, students who have subscribed for the courses are badly impacted with this. So now the other solution that came in my mind, why not to fix this with the help of automation? And then I took just five minutes of my time to write a script, which saved the entire manual effort and yes, I am able to fix my courses in no time. So this is what I've written. There, there's a small script uh, I've written uh, where I'm navigating to each uh, course and then uh, I'm performing the same manual task of uh, going to the curriculum and then uh, clicking on each lecture and then clicking on uh, re-encoding button and one by one I'm looping it over here till the time uh, uh, it goes to the last lecture and fix uh, all the lectures one by one. So let me execute it and let me show it to you how it actually runs. So if I run it from here, so all the lectures which are having the encoding issues, just the video lecture, there are other lectures as well where the PDF content is there, where other content is there, like this lecture, there is no video. So it is going to skip it. Then it is going to re-encode the lecture where the video is there. Where the video is not there, it is just going to skip it. See how fast it is actually doing it, right? So this is what a uh, time saving effort. I mean, if you write uh, a script, if you know automation, then you can save your entire day, right? You can save you a lot of effort in fixing such issues. Right, so there, there are over 400 lectures over here. So this script is going to take at least uh, 
five to seven minutes uh, to fix all these lectures. So let me uh, pause the video for the timing till that uh, this is finished and then I'm gonna show it to you that the videos again started playing. So finally all lectures are done in no time. If I preview this course, uh, you're gonna see if I play the very first lecture and let's see if it is working. You, see, it started working, right? And if I take you to one of my other course, which is not yet fixed, if I try to play the lecture from this course, let's see what we'll get. Uh, let me preview this and see every student is right now getting the video has been removed, right? So you may be surprised, I mean, if you have like paid for the services and uh, like all of a sudden you started seeing that the video has been removed by the instructor right so i was really surprised to see and then i thought of fixing this instead of waiting for two days to for the team to come in and fix this issue i've created a small script and finally i can say selenium saved my life yes I came across a lot of sync issues uh, like uh, stale element issues while creating this uh, script uh, as I have to go back and forth on these pages. But I have applied all, all the techniques from experience and uh, from whatever that I have learned and I've made a script that finally executed successfully. So uh, this is a small experience that I wanted to share with you as uh, today evening I was about to start a new Selenium live batch. And in the morning itself, this thing happened. And just the knowledge, patience, and the experience is what saved my life. So once again, I really thank you for listening to this. And if you wanted to share any such experience of yours like this, then you can write it down in the comment box and uh, so that everyone uh, must understand the importance of automation in their life not just automating website, but the manual effort that we are putting on a regular basis and how automation or automating that task can reduce such effort and save a lot of time and resources. So that's all from my end and hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Thank you.